we're gonna put a miniature garden together and we got some plants. I like to do um, a really low flowering one in the front and real tall ones in the back and give it some interest. I'm gonna put a, a lavender that'll look really cool, like right over here so we could, and leave the corner open so we could maybe do some hidden characters back there. But I'm just gonna fill in the soil here, get them all down. And then after I'm done filling in the soil, what we're gonna do is put a, a layer of either mulch or some moss so that we have a really nice surface to work with. This is gonna be a, this is a square pot that I'm using. It's just gonna give us a lot of room to create our scene. So it looks good. I usually put like to put it depending on your pot size you know three to four maybe five little plants and just make sure that the plants that you use are either all for sun or all for shade depending on where you want to put your garden put a little bit more back here this is a sunny spot that i have in my garden here here we go a little bit more. That looks good. Ooh. Put some moss around the edges here, and I got some interesting little pieces of wood that I'm going to use and put around just to give it some really fun interest. Put it right there. Put some moss in here and then be sure to water the moss real good too so that kind of stays moist and stays green. I'll do the rest of that and we'll come back and put our characters on. Okay, we got our moss down pretty good and I'm gonna save a little area back here and put our little veggie guard back there because I'm gonna use Peter Rabbit as our miniature garden items in a the Peter Rabbit gate it opens and closes it's a great focal point part of your fairy garden so I'm going to put it right there that kind of depicts the grassy knoll area to where the garden might start and I have some secret garden stepping stones that we could put right in the front like that leading up a nice pathway leading up to the garden that says play home and secret garden and then one of my of course we have to have peter rabbit here maybe we'll put peter right here he, this peter rabbit comes he comes with his coat and he comes with a little radish and his wheelbarrow and then we're going to put little Timmy Willie. He's one of my favorite characters. I think maybe we'll hang him right on the, the gate there today. And he comes with his little peapod bed too. Okay, now we're going to plant our little imaginary garden in the back here uh, behind the gate. So it's a nice area here. And I have lots of vegetables. I love putting a whole bunch. I have a couple cauliflowers here. And a radish carrots we have a orange carrot and a purple carrot and you gotta have lettuce in your garden lettuce and cabbage put a couple back here and a beet and then a couple onions that come with Benjamin Bunny right there. So he's sitting right behind the garden there, all ready for it to be picked and grown. And here's the scarecrow, Peter's coat. You gotta have that, what an iconic piece right there in the back of the garden. And I have the shovel that's from the bird. We're gonna place that right back here so it looks like someone's digging there. And there we go. 
And I'm going to dress it up a little bit with a little bit of a silk flower right in the back so that it gives it some color. And then we're all done with our garden. Just wanted to give you a close-up view of our miniature garden we put together for Peter Rabbit and all of his friends. There's Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, his sisters, of course. This is Rabbit and the Peters, Miss Tiggy Winkle. Oh, look where we put Timmy Willie hiding in the little wooden hole there. And of course we got the gate and the, and the garden. There's Benjamin Bunny. all the pieces it looks really good thank you for watching